It's now my privilege to introduce Larry Cartman, who brings greetings on behalf of the University of Massachusetts Board of Trustees. Thank you. Yikes. <laughs> following Chancellor Motley is like following Beyonce at the Grammys, I think. I don't know. I... Will all the uh, management majors out there meet me afterwards? I'm actually his boss, and, and I need help trying to deal with that. Um, <laughs> President Caret, uh, your very dynamic Chancellor Motley, fellow trustees, especially trustee Dick Campbell, who literally dropped everything in the last year to launch the Crystal Campbell Fund, Dick. Congratulations on that. <laughs> Members of the faculty, family, friends, honorees, guests, and most importantly, the 4,000 members of the class of 2014. <laughs> On behalf of the University of Massachusetts Board of Trustees, I bring you greetings and congratulate you on the major milestone in your life that you celebrate today. You have worked hard to reach this moment and the Board of Trustees, which oversees all five campuses in the UMass system, joins with you all in being proud of your accomplishment and confident in your ability to achieve great things. You are here today to celebrate a personal achievement, and certainly there will be a lot, a whole lot, of words spoken this morning about that achievement, which is appropriate for such an important moment. But as inaugural poet Richard Blanco, clearly a man of words, said earlier this month at another big moment like this I attended, I'm going to ask for a brief moment of no words, of silence. So you, the 2014 graduates, can think about how great your achievement really is and think about the people who helped get you here along the way. Please join me in that silence. Thanks, that was great. <laughs> this is also a day of celebration for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, as many of you, very many we hope, will remain in Massachusetts and help our state maintain its position as an intellectual powerhouse and global innovation leader. This is the only school in the state that brings together two very noble concepts, university and Massachusetts. And it truly is the people's university. Now here's the hard part. So that means you are the inheritors of a special tradition and our future is in your hands. We need to keep the talent assembled in this graduating class right here in Massachusetts. If we do, our horizons are unlimited. As you receive your degrees this morning, become alumni, please also become real ambassadors for this great institution. You know firsthand of its assets and the progress made thanks to the commitment of the faculty and the campus leadership and the support of the people of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Let's work together in the years ahead to keep the momentum going and make this a public university that is second to none. Speaking of faculty, I want to share one personal note with you all. I know if you look left and you look right and then you look straight ahead in front of you, you will likely see classmates who are friends and with whom you have plans to stay in touch. But I also want to urge you to think of the faculty member who spent extra time with you or the faculty member with whom you found that special bond. I had a professor like that, and over three plus decades, we would talk, he guiding me, me drinking in his true wisdom. 
I was honored to be at Professor Ziff's memorial service not long ago at UMass Amherst, my alma mater. I know many of you have your own Professor Ziff, and I urge you to stay in touch with him or her. It will be an equal part of your UMass experience. Thank you for your time. Congratulations again. And may all the travels that lie ahead for you be good. And may the soft winds of this glorious Boston spring always be at your backs.